so i have three lines on my drawing paper here so i'll just guide a little bit shoulder bust and waist after that i will put my chest measurements that is 15 divided by 2 which is 7.5 as you can see me marking it or mark it across the paper and then i'll go in with my ruler rule a straight line across now you can also come up by two inches from your boss point in order to get your chest measurements that is if you didn't take the round arm hole or the chest measurement so right now i'm using my marker to make the lines very bold and I'll label it the chest line right now I'll just go ahead and input half of my shoulder measurement that's 15 divided by 2 is um, 7.5 and I'll also be putting that on the chest line and then I'll rule a straight line from the shoulder to the chest and then I'll also be taking in my neck width and then I'll be coming down by 1 inch but that's not what I'm going to use. I'm going to be using half inch here because the person I'm making this for is on the smaller side. So that's why I took half inch. You can go as much as one inch or even 1.5 for your front arm hole. So right now I'm dividing the arm hole line into two. And then I'm going to go in by half inch. This is just to make the front arm hole. And then I'll go with my ruler and rule a straight line here. And now I'll divide my round bust measurement by four and whatever i have i place it down and then i complete my arm hole if you have your french curve or your curves you can use it to form the arm hole so right now i'm taking in my nipple to nipple measurement which is 3.5 from the bust to the waist then i'm ruling a straight line and now i will come to the bust line i'll come down by one inch now you can try to do half inch or even one inch but here i'm just going to go to the waist take half an inch each and then i'm going to draw it straight to the bust line this is a smaller size and that's why i didn't follow most of the rules but remember to come that by half and if you are sewing for we are adjusting the pattern for a size 38 and above so right now I'm repeating my waist measurement which is seven and a half that's 30 divided by four and i'm also measuring the dart which i have there and i'm replacing it right now go ahead and add one inch for seam allowance across the pattern and then i'll connect it to form the front bodies so i'll go ahead and label it the front as you can see me doing here so right now i'm coming up by one and a half inch mind you you're supposed to do two inches but because this is a smaller size i'm just coming up by one and a half inch and i'm moving it straight to the bust line this is going to serve as a side that in order to give the bust a very good fitting and you need bulges so right now for my neck depth i'm going in by three and a half and then i'll connect to the first point i marked earlier on to form a round neckline okay for the back you can see i have the shoulder the bust and the waist same as what we did in front i'll go ahead and get my shoulder my chest line sorry that's what i'm just you see me doing here so we are basically repeating everything we did in front for the back as it's putting my shoulder measurements both on the chest line and on the shoulder line within a straight line so let me just label this chest so that we don't get confused and now Now for the back, we are not going to be dividing our arm hole into two and getting the midpoint the way we did for the front. No, we will not be doing that. We will just measure our round bust 
divided by four and then we're just going to curve it to meet it at that point as you can see me doing right now and now i'm going to be taking our nipple to nipple measurements for bust pan and now as you can see this time i'm taking it up to the chest point now this is the back so there's no need to care about the bust because there's no bust at the back so i'm just repeating it taking our half inch that and you can see i'm taking it from the chest line and now I'm going to be putting my waist measurements, replacing the darts, and then adding seam allowance of one inch back to the pattern. And then, as you can see, the back is shorter than the front because of the front has the bust, while the back does not have the bust, so it's usually flat. And now I'm going to be removing half an inch to eliminate zip bulge so that part is going to be cut out and now i'm going to be taking for the back i'm using the neck width depth of one and a half as you can see and i'm labeling it the back so this is the basic body pattern for both front and the back Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share with friends and loved ones. Till we meet again. Bye.